Welcome to Toronto. Good to have you here, Adam. Thank you so much. And I, you know, I really, really enjoyed this movie, but I have to tell you, I really had to focus in and really pay attention. And I want to ask, I know that when you, you, you know, you had said that you had read the book right through, but seriously, even the author says, congratulations if you make it past the first 75 yeah. pages. Yeah. How did you wrap your mind around this? You know, it was funny because when I read the book, I just had a good sense of the shape of the financial story. He did a good job of getting that across. So then I reread it a few times. I did research and I was like, wait a minute, I don't think this is that hard. Uh, you know, basically they took mortgage bonds yeah. and filled them with crappy mortgages and sold them. That's kind of it. There you go. So yeah. we decided that we weren't going to just do like a character or cultural study. We're actually going to tell the audience how this works. Uh, so it was kind of an ambitious idea. But so far, audiences are tracking with it. Yeah, well, and also, let's face it, I mean, you have a phenomenal cast. I mean, kind of, you know, patting yourself on the shoulder, like, how did I get these people? This it's is amazing. Insane. Yeah. yeah. So that helps us too. Like, you know, we helps want to watch lot. these guys. Helps a lot. <laughs> yeah, when it's Ryan Gosling explaining it, when it's Anthony Bourdain, when it's Christian Bale, you definitely tend to clue in a little bit more. It's true. Yeah, and even, you know, Steve Carell, again, um, you know, continuously blows me away with his performance. He's so good. Yeah. What is it about, well, you would know best, because what is it about funny people? Uh, they make the best dramatic actors. You know, I think the trick is, and, and it goes all the way back to, like, Peter Sellers or Jackie Gleason in The Hustler, is comedy's hard, man. Yeah. When you're doing comedy, you are out there and it either works or it doesn't work. So guy like Steve Carell, I've just known for years and he works harder than anyone I know. I mean, him and Christian Bale were really the two guys that went full on method and really worked their characters. But yeah, Carell's the real deal. Yeah, but Carell told me, and he always says that, that he thinks Ryan Gosling is the funniest guy he's ever met. Ryan Gosling is really funny. It's kind of a little bit of an open secret around Los Angeles that Gosling is crazy funny. So he quietly has one of the hardest jobs in the movie because he's kind of has to narrate and then he has to be a character and he has to shift back and forth. And he did it so effortlessly and with such humor and energy. Uh, yeah, he, this whole cast and, and, and beyond even obviously the big four stars that we know, the yeah. supporting cast like Jeremy Strong, Finn Wittrock. Amazing. Yeah, we really kind of got uh, the, every one of them. There's no, what is it, no uh, no filler, all killer? Is that yeah. the expression? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Now, I have posted my interviews already for this film. I, I did the junket in LA a couple weeks ago. Oh, and beautiful. I'm getting a lot of banter back and forth on Christian Bale, who is phenomenal. And I know he did that drum solo, but people are arguing back and forth saying that he didn't. Please set the record straight. Oh boy, did he. Yeah. There's no question he did. He said to me he wanted to do it. I said, Christian, speed metal double kick drums are the hardest drums to play, maybe next to jazz. So he went to a drum coach and the drum coach said, there's no way you can learn this in three weeks. He goes, you just can't do it. And he goes, well, you know, just let me try, let me try. And he just started playing it every single day, like three, four times a day. Then right before we start shooting, he blows out his knee. And so while he's doing that drum solo, which he is definitely doing, I can attest to it, he has a completely blown out knee while playing double kick drums. So it is unbelievable what he did. How did you find your comedy background help you with a movie like this? You know, I think the, the part that really helped is a lot of the comedies I've done with Will Ferrell are ensemble based. You know, even though they star Will Ferrell, we always have a lot of funny people, a lot of different characters in it. So I think I'm pretty good at juggling an ensemble and telling a story through that. I also think with a movie like this where the language can get really complicated, there's a need to sometimes improvise on set, to get alts, to play with the dialogue. I really wanted this movie to feel very real. I didn't want it to feel austere and cold like some Wall Street movies are. So the whole idea was that these are flawed, weird, strange guys. Yeah. And I think the improv background helped with that a lot, letting the characters talk over each other and creating that energy. I'm sure. Uh, well, you did a terrific job. And I was the first big film without Will Ferrell. Were you guys texting each other back and forth on the set going, I miss you? Kind of. He came and visited. He actually came to set for three days 
for no reason other than to just visit. He's such a sweetheart, yeah. and we had the best time hanging out with him. I always say any movie set is 20% better with Will Ferrell walking around it. So I'd say 100% better. I, you, might, you could even go to 100%. <laughs> there is never an unhappy movie set with Will Ferrell walking around. Well, for sure. Well, thank you personally for making my family laugh all these years. You are just terrific. Such a uh, funny, great guy. Thank and you so And congratulations much. on this. You've really outdone yourself. Now, you're, I don't know how you're going to top it. Ah, uh, I know. What do you do next? Yeah, you'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much.